Hey, hey, hey everyone, Tankenstein here. In this video, I've got your gameplay for the F-100D. This is a currently rank 6 battle rating 9.3 jet fighter for the American Air Tech Tree. Now, this fighter is a little bit special because, of course, we just saw a BR decrease. So this was 9.7 BR. Now it is 9.3 BR. And the funny thing is, is that every F-100 dropped down to 9.3 BR as well. So this has access to four AIM-9E missiles, whereas the French variant only has access to four AIM-9Bs, but has pretty much everything else the same as with this. So it's pretty interesting to see that this is actually the superior variant and is still the same BR. So that said, I want to see if this is any good at 9.3 BR, see if, if it's still suffering. There was a lot of hubbub when this was 9.7 BR that it shouldn't be there. All the up tiers put in serious trouble and now with all the BR compression, maybe it was time for this to drop. Now that being said, let's get into some fights here. The AIM-9Es are substantially better than the AIM-9Bs in pretty much every single way. These have better tracker heads, better speed, and better range. All for yeah, about the same exact weight, maybe about four kilograms heavier, and uh, they do have the same maximum overload. But that being said, let's just get into a few matches here, see what we could do, and uh, see if this plane is actually serviceable at 9.3 BR. So as we get a little bit closer to this battle here, let's go over some of the strengths and weaknesses of this aircraft. And actually, you know what, before I even get into that, just want to make mention that being that this is the type of video that it is, kind of a is this plane good now video uh being that it's moved again from 9.7 to 9.3 br i'll be trying to give as much um you know I, as little editing as possible because you know ultimately you want to know hey is this plane good so you'll be seeing all of its flaws all of its strengths and all of that and even my flaws and strengths as a player in this video so that said into its strengths and weaknesses first and foremost I mean, in a down tier, like, look at this. This is a down tier, and it's uh, it's very nice because, I mean, having it at 9.3 BR does mean that it will have some more down tiers. Also, there's no clouds over the battlefield. It's kind of cool. But um, that said, it has really nice speed and acceleration. Not fantastic, but that's also one of the reasons why it was increased, or decreased, rather, to 9.3 BR from 9.7. Uh, because, you know, where it was the first American supersonic aircraft in game, no longer. Uh, and it shows, you know, it genuinely does show. So it's nice to not have the, uh, you know, to, to be such a, a good aircraft, relatively speaking, uh, in terms of maneuver, or not maneuverability, but rather speed. Um, you know, it's definitely a, a nice thing here. Sorry about that. I just had my brain kind of get wiped out real quick. Uh, I'm getting kind of tempted by this hot action here. Whoa, that's a lot of players chasing down that F-100. Now, this is a weakness. It's mediocre handling capabilities. As you can see, I mean, this thing does not want to maneuver at all. I should be able to get that G-91, I hope. Hope, hope, hope. Good. Got the kill. Probably going to go for this limb, but yeah, this SU-25. Oh, my God. He didn't get me. Somehow, I am still here. I gotta turn up quick. I'm gonna be killed by this SU. Oh, I thought that was an SU. Oh, that's an SU-25. Somehow, I'm dodging these. Are you for real? So, just so you know, guys, this is not at all... Oh, that was bad. This is not at all normal for, for this aircraft. Uh, having this many whatever there. Okay, yeah, I got shot down. Okay, fully expected. I mean, like, th that's the problem. Like, when you deal with SU-25s and, and things of that nature, you have to start worrying about dodging those. You start losing a ton of speed in your turning because this has not good energy retention, and then you die. So that MiG-21S way outperforms me in terms of uh, speed maneuverability, which is going to kill me. Plus, it's a much smaller aircraft. So, you know, obviously that's on me. I got three kills, not too bad. But, yeah, I mean, this aircraft, it's got, just to kind of give it a, a, you know, summary, strengths, it's got good speed, good acceleration, relatively speaking, and I would consider its 4 aim 9 es to be a good bonus, uh, but, you know, it has poor maneuverability, bad energy retention, and I'm not a big fan of those cannons. 
So that said, let's get into another match here, see what we could do. But three kills, not too bad for a first match. Uh, a lot of people consider that to be good, and you know what? I'll even consider it to be good. Let's get into the next one. One of the things I really love about this aircraft is that it actually has some really cool skins, and in my opinion, that Vietnam-era camo is just top-notch. It is so choice, and if you have access to it, you know, I'd put it on every now and again. That's one of my favorite ones. The only reason why I use the other camo is because uh, it's something that I, uh, I think, got off the marketplace a few years ago. But, yeah, that said, I mean, it appears as though we're in a bit of an up tier here. Uh, we have F5Cs, A10s, uh, there's a Harrier GR1 right over there. And um, in up tiers, they typically say don't boom and zoom, and I agree. Uh, in a down tier, it works okay getting three quick kills in that match. It's kind of proof of that. And there's a lot of people who say, well, if you die, it's not a good match. Yeah, I mean, it depends on your perspective. I mean, I really can't stand when people... They just play it safe all game, and they just play a sterile game. It's just not for me. I'd rather have three kills and a death than one kill, one assist, or even two kills and no deaths for the most part. Um, just because that means I can get kind of, I can get dirty with it. You know what I mean? If that makes any sense. It's just kind of how I prefer to play. Just go right in there. Just fight them. You know, bring the fight to the enemy. Even if it puts me in danger. I mean, I physically am not in any danger. So why not, you know? So that said, um, it doesn't appear that there are any enemies up here. There's a lot of SU-25s, which is going to be a pretty big problem. There's four of them right there. Five of them. Good thing I did some space climbing. Uh, I'm going to try to pop in right below or right behind the last one. Hopefully those are the last ones. And then maybe I, maybe I can get a surprise uh, missile launch on one or two of them. Slap on these air brakes. Don't want to come down too fast. Also want to come down a little bit behind them so that it actually catches the heat signature on them. Uh, I'll try this guy first. Not working. Ooh, it did. Okay. You know what? Hopefully that works. Uh, take off those air brakes. Hopefully he doesn't... Oh, that's not good. Hopefully he doesn't notice me. Okay, got a hit. Got a hit. There we go. Okay, I got to run away now. But this is, like I said, these are the problems, in my opinion, with these cannons. Not a big fan. They don't really put out a ton of damage. And they aren't really the best when it comes to fire rate either. American cannons, at least as of recently, they just really don't feel good. Um, you know, I've got an F2H2 Banshee video. And I'll tell you guys, that plane has been extremely... Wait, did I just hit that A-10 with my missile at the same time? I hope not. Okay. I don't think I did. But anyways, the American cannons in this game have been feeling very mediocre recently. Um, not really sure why. I, I've heard that Gaijin nerfed them, but we'll see. I just saw a blip on my radar. Okay, it's just that Yak-30. I'm going to go over here. You want to kind of stick around higher ally concentrations with this aircraft because it does have poor maneuverability. There's a less of a chance that you'll be shot, you know. Um, also, I want to go climb right back up here. Maybe I can get the drop on someone. Not sure. And then dive right back down. Might go for this... Mmm... <sighs> Really want to go for these SU-25s uh, because if they're not paying attention to me, then I should be able to get a surprise missile launch on them. And like I said, the A-9Es, they're not that bad. Uh, they're not great, but a 9.3 BR, they're about as good of a missile as you're going to get unless you're in Yak-38. So, we got to turn back down. Don't want to put those on. I almost put my landing gears on. You know what? You got to try that. Okay, of course, it's going to miss. SU-25, and fire some of those. Got me a crit. He is spun out. Perfect. Turn back around. And he's going to possibly turn in on me. He doesn't realize I don't have missiles. Hoping no one behind me does. Hoping there's no one behind me at all. Okay. Now, this guy can easily outmaneuver me. Mixed with my increased speed, that is not good. Should have put my air brakes on far sooner. And he's got to get me. Yep, he got me. Tag me. Okay. 
Turn back down and no hits. My leg is shaking. Woo! No hits. Kind of running out of ammo here. Okay, he's he's down. I'm not gonna try to steal that kill. So not too bad. I'm gonna go back to base real quick. Two kills. I'm okay with that. And I've gotten a well, I got some damage on another guy before, but I don't think it counted for an assist. But two kills in this, not too shabby. Uh, trying to go land back at base, see what we could do, and uh, I don't know. Hopefully we can get another kill or two, but I'm not really betting on it. I mean, thus far, though, I'll be honest with you guys. I mean, I've been somewhat impressed by this aircraft at 9.3 BR. But at the same time, when you start adding aircraft to fight like the SU-25K and the regular SU-25, uh, where this has no countermeasures, it has this has literally no way to defeat that plane unless you catch them by surprise. Uh, so once you actually start adding in planes like that, it's kind of a death nail. It's like, too bad, you know? I mean, this may as well be an F-105. So, it, there's a lot of strengths and weaknesses to this thing, but the usefulness of this aircraft really diminishes once you start adding in these planes with ridiculous missiles, like all aspect missiles or high G maneuvering missiles that you can't counter at all, you know? The only reason why I was able to dodge those missiles in the last match is because I got lucky. Anyways, let's go land, see what we can do. Hopefully I don't die and crash on the way to landing, but we'll see. Huh, so that's cool. It's not really something I ever tried before, but, um, you know, when you reload and repair in the, uh, once you land at base, and then it resets you on the, on the map there, uh, you can J out, and I actually just switched my skin, so just wanted to let you guys know that. If you haven't known that, you can repair, reload, switch skins, and also armament as well. But of course, I'm not going to switch my armaments because I am on a killing spree here and don't want to take out bases. So that said, let's see what we can do. Okay, so I've got two bogey dogies down there. The F-105 seems to be just flying right over top of them, which might be beneficial to me because that could mean that they are distracted. So I'm going to probably go for this Su-25. I was originally going to go for this Yak-38. Um, be a, an easier counter or an easier plane for me to go after. They don't have any countermeasures. But if this guy doesn't know I'm even here, then this it wouldn't be a problem either. So especially if he's focused on this F-105, and if this F-105 doesn't make him turn around, I should be okay. Um, no, he's, he probably knows I'm here. So, you know what, actually? It doesn't appear that he does. So I'm going to launch in three, two, go. Let's hope he doesn't know I'm here. It doesn't appear he does. And a kill. Not too bad. Now I'm going to try to catch up to this guy. Hopefully I can before he lands back at base. Three kills. Not a bad match. You know what, guys? I mean, oh, he just, he just offed himself. You know, I'll be honest. I mean, I'm genuinely surprised. Um, this aircraft is better than I expected, you know? I mean, it's not fantastic by any means, but it's better than I expected at 9.3 BR, and I'll say it's better at 9.3 BR than the Banshee is at 8.0 BR. Uh, I'll say that with confidence. So I'm going to 3, 2, 1, launch. He just wants to go in and try to mess me up. Put on these air brakes. I don't think the SPSK has any countermeasures, right? Maybe. Ah. Ah, lost control. There we go. Um, the SPSK is one of the lesser uh, performing MIGs in game. 100% uh, one of the least performing ones in game. Because uh, I think it has the same engine as the PFM. So if that's the case, I may stand a chance of catching up with him. But now that he's in this cloud bank, I doubt it. Um, I'm going to have to activate that order. Oh, there's another plane. I thought we were all out. Okay. Gonna turn down for what? Put on them air brakes. Give them the old Slim Jim Dazzle. There we go. Aim 9E right up the tailpipe. Boom shakalaka. Four kills. That is not a bad match if I say so myself. Gonna put on an order. Go on the Avenger order and... Where is this fella? Okay, he's right there. I'm gonna have to slow down. 
Hopefully I don't die from G maneuvers. Uh, but we'll see. Okay, he's running. I might be able to actually catch up with this guy and launch a missile up his tailpipe. Man, these AIM-90s are really surprising me today. Typically, typically I'm not at all a fan uh, of AIM-90s, but they are better than maybe I give them credit for. Got a crit. Nice! Okay. Got him! There we go. Five kills, guys. That is a way to end this gameplay. That okay, said, let's just finish it off in the hangar here. So, that said, honestly, a 9.3 BR, I'm kind of impressed by this. You're going to be facing a lot of planes without countermeasures. And it's not like these are AIM-9Bs like what you have in the French F-100D. These are AIM-9Es. They track better. They have a better uh, seeker head. Like, you can... Um, they're, they're unlocked or whatever it's called, uh, which is very, very nice. And they're just overall better. They're faster. They have a better range. So, whereas before, like with AIM-9Bs, you'd have to basically shoot at them from two kilometers away. In some instances, you can get them from around three kilometers away with these. So long as they're not performing crazy maneuvers, which at this BR, if you catch people by surprise, they're not. Uh, so, I mean, it's a really, really nice plane. I'm really surprised by this. You know, uh, I think it's going to be good at 9.3 BR. I had some really good matches with this and uh, kind of impressed. Either way, thanks again, guys. Please, of course, like, comment, subscribe. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But either way, thanks again. And I'll say thanks again 50 million times because I love you guys. and Take care.